The biggest complaint I hear from business owners is about their books. And it's about the fact that they don't feel like they have good, reliable information. They look at the reports and things don't look right. Or maybe you just had your tax return filed and you made all this money, you owe all these taxes, but you don't have the cash that you think you should have in the bank to reflect all of that. And the bottom line is you need data so you can get to the bottom of questions like this. Because the answer to those questions, first of all, requires having a good, accurate, reliable set of books. And that's what I call bulletproof books. It means that every number can be proven to be reliable so that when you're looking at it, you know it's right. You know it's telling you that you have the right amount of money in the bank and you have the right amount of money that's owed you in the form of receivables and so on. And, you know, so if your CPA filed your taxes and all you got was a bill and a voucher to pay the taxes and you're wondering why you didn't get any advice, it's because you probably haven't paid for the advice. And most CPAs and enrolled agents who do taxes for a living are up to their eyeballs trying to get tax returns done and they don't have the time. So you need a CFO or somebody who can fill in that role when you need it. Maybe not full time, maybe outsourced, somebody like me, someone who can analyze the numbers and help you interpret them. What do they say? Are they accurate in the first place? Because again, before you can do any of this analysis, you need to make sure they're accurate. We need to make sure they're bulletproof. Now that might sound like a lot. It might sound expensive, but how expensive is it to not know? How how valuable is it on the other hand to have this information, to know exactly what your financial statements say about your the financial position of your company is accurate, right? What's it worth to know that your cash flow is maybe tied up in excess inventory or uncollected receivables, which are the two most common things, the first places I look when somebody tells me that they don't they seem to have the cash on hand that they should. The other places to look, to look at is uh, distributions. A lot of business owners forget or I say, well, maybe you took all the money out in distributions. They assure me they have haven't, but a quick look at the balance sheet reveals that, in fact, they did, and, and then it jogs their memory, right? Or maybe you've got a lot of debt on the books, and so all of your profits are being used to service that debt. That's a classic example of how a profitable business can go under. So again, to have this data, we need to have bulletproof books. We need to know that, for example, in the case of the debt, we have the right principal balances due on the balance sheet and the right interest expense, what it's costing us to borrow that money on the profit and loss. We need that information to be reliable so that we can analyze it. Now, um, another classic example is when we write off bad debt. If we use a discount to write off bad debt, which is very often done, it tells the wrong story, right? So that's a common mistake that's made by people who are inexperienced at doing books, which often is the case when you have a business owner who's doing their own books because they can't afford to do it or or otherwise, right? Um, A couple of other common mistakes, payroll probably the biggest expense in most companies, right? And a lot of times payroll is not booked correctly. We have the net payroll that comes out of the bank and that gets booked to payroll expense, which is understated. The gross payroll is usually something higher than that, right? And then the tax payment comes out and that gets booked as the employer tax expense, which is also wrong because the bigger portion of that is actually the remittance of the liabilities that got withheld from the paychecks. And it's not a wash. It's never a wash because there's a lot of variables in between in terms of what the payroll expense is for the employer versus the things that were withheld from the paychecks, which are all different kinds of uh, income tax withholdings and other things, right? So you you, you want to make sure that this stuff is accurate. And a, and a quick test on that is pull out your last payroll tax return and run your profit and loss for the same period. See if the gross salaries from the payroll tax return match the gross salaries from your profit and loss. If not, then you probably have to look a little deeper and understand what's going on and maybe take a closer look at how the books are being kept. We want these things to be bulletproof so that we can rely on them so that we can make important decisions about them. If I'm trying to look at where to cut back because cash flow is tight for some reason, a lot of times, for example, people will go pay for fuel while they go into the convenience store and buy some food and all that gets lumped into fuel. Might not seem like a big deal, but that stuff can add up. And it's something that you can often easily cut back on is the food, whereas the fuel is often not so easy to cut back on because you need to travel and do the things that you need to do to generate and keep generating the business that you have. So if you have things like meals buried inside of fuel, it's going to be hard to see what you can cut back and where. So in that case, the bottom line would be no different. You'd have the same net income, but the stuff that's going on in between is not reliable. It's not accurate. You can't analyze it properly because it's all being lumped into one single account. So when it comes to the analysis, you need to have good data and you need to know what you paid your employees accurately. And you need to know what's going where, what your money is actually being spent on. 
Check your books. If you need help, I'm here. I've also got courses. This year I released Bulletproof Bookkeeping with QuickBooks Online, which walks you through A to Z, over 13 hours of video, priced for lifetime access. So you pay once and you have permanent access. Plus you have access to me. You can ask questions and I answer them. We have a community that gets tagged on with the course. So you can post your questions and get the answers from me within 24 hours, usually a lot less. So I can make sure that you can keep moving forward in the process of learning how to get and keep a bulletproof set of books. Most importantly, on top of any of this, you should have a review process. The best way to catch issues before they get out of hand is by reviewing reports and doing it regularly. You start with the balance sheet and go through every account and make sure that those numbers look accurate. Then you go through the profit and loss and make sure everything's classified correctly. I can help. I have the resources. Heck, I am the resource. So uh, check me out. Check out my resources. Reach out to me if there's anything, if you have the slightest doubt about what's going on with your financial statements. Get an hour with me and I can help you get clarity about whether or not they look good or if they don't look good, what can be done to get them in shape so that you can say that you have bulletproof books and then you can make the analysis and the decisions that you need to based on accurate and reliable financial data.